Musical Cult Control 432Hz vs 440Hz What I am about to tell you might change the way you listen to music forever. Around 1885, the Music Commission of the Italian government declared that all instruments and orchestras should use a tuning fork that vibrated at 440 Hz, which was different from the original standard of 432 Hz used in France and throughout most of the world. In 1917, the American Federation of Musicians endorsed the Italians and began tuning in 440 Hz. Interestingly, in 1917, the United States officially entered World War I, then in 1953, a worldwide agreement was signed between all nations. This frequency became the standard ISO 16 reference for tuning of all musical instruments. This tone standard is now accepted all over the world. There remains a mystery why this frequency was chosen in the first place. In fact, there are many people who disagree with this standard. They consider the 440 Hz middle A to be an abomination against nature. There are indeed clues that points to 432 Hz as a more natural frequency for the correct middle A, also known as Verdi's A, a pure tone of math fundamental to nature and is mathematically consistent with the patterns of the universe, vibrating with pi and the golden ratio. What is 440 Hz? 440 Hz is the unnatural standard tuning frequency removed from the symmetry of sacred vibrations and overtones. There is a theory that the change from 432 Hz to 440 Hz was dictated by Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels. Apparently, he used it to make people think and feel a certain manner and to make them a prisoner of their own consciousness. In a paper entitled Musical Cult Control, Dr. Leonard Horowitz writes, The music industry features this imposed frequency that is hurting populations into greater aggression psychosocial agitation, and emotional distress predisposing people to physical illness. Believe me, they know exactly what they are doing. They are successfully lowering the vibrations of not only the young generation, but the rest of us as well. If one should desire to know whether a kingdom is well governed, if its morals are good or bad, the quality of its music will furnish the answer. Confucius You just have to go out into the street and take a look around. What do you see? School kids, young adults on their way to work, and what do they all have in common? iPhones or MP3 players? Ingenious, isn't it? These destructive frequencies entertain the thoughts towards disruption, disharmony and disunity. They also stimulate the controlling organ of the body and the brain into disharmonious resonance, which ultimately creates mind control. Some suspect that the Rockefeller Foundation had an interest in making sure that the United States adopted the 440 Hz standard as part of a war on consciousness, leading to musical cult control. If you only knew the magnificence of the 3, 6, and 9, then you would have a key to the universe. We have been left the method of counting and measurement, and the importance of dividing a unit by 12 seems to be the main rule given that has been adopted by humanity. Here are some of the ways that I found 12 to be an important number. 12 months of the year, 12 hours of a clock, 12 inches to the foot, 12 apostles of Christ, 12 constellations of the zodiac, 12 tribes of Israel, 12 nights of the round table, and there's much more. What happens when you divide today's music standard of A, 440 Hz, by 12? 440 Hz divided by 12 equals 36.6666666666667 So what happens when you divide A432 Hz, known as Verdi's A, an alternative tuning that is mathematically consistent with the universe, by 12? 432 Hz divided by 12 equals just 36. I heard it said perfectly that 440 Hz is pretending to be sacred geometry. What I'm saying to you is you should give it to somebody that don't know any better because that's a fugazi. Alright? 440 Hertz is the closest one can come to the real thing while still being an imposter. 432 Hertz divided by 12 equals 36. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 432 Hertz equals 369. They are two ways of expressing the same thing. Next, let's look further into how the 432 Hertz frequency is in time itself. Is our number system and method of timekeeping entirely based on 432 Hz, 9 base mathematics? How many seconds are in 12 hours? 
43,200. That's 432. Divide or multiply a whole unit by 12. So 60 seconds times 12 equals 43,200 seconds. 36 times 12 equals 432. 36.666 times 12 equals 440. Interesting, isn't it? They are all related. They are perfect musical overtones of one another. Now check this out using vortex-based mathematics. 1 times 12 equals 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 times 12 equals 24. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 2 times 12 equals 24. 3 times 12 equals 36. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 4 times 12 equals 48. 4 plus 8 equals 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 5 times 12 equals 60. 6 plus 0 equals 6. 6 times 12 equals 72. 7 plus 2 equals 9. Now if you keep on going, you'll notice that our number system is all 3, 6, and 9, repeating forever. The numerical coincidences are too compelling. All over the world and for thousands of years, humanity has received certain number sequences. 108, 144, 360, 369, 432, 1080, but why? What is it about these numbers that jars something so deep within us that we incorporate them into our myths and spiritual beliefs? The answer could be in frequency harmonics. We measure sound frequencies and vibration cycles per second, and the numbers listed above, when played as frequencies, just happen to mirror the exact harmonic patterns found in nature. Music based on 432 hertz transmits beneficial healing energy because it is a pure tone of math fundamental to nature. Classical music such as Beethoven was created using 432 hertz and research shows that this type of music helps plants grow faster and healthier. 432 hertz is a harmonic of light frequency. It speaks and resonates directly with our cells. All cells communicate with each other via infrared light so imagine, when they receive music in 432 hertz, they are in joy. The conscious mind may not be aware of this, but most of what goes on in our bodies is subconscious. Sound in the air may be defined as the transfer of periodic movements between adjacent colliding atoms or molecules. Research says that music tuned from this frequency is easier to listen to, brighter, clearer, and contains more inherent dynamic range. As a result, music with this tuning does not need to be played at higher volumes, and this reduces the risk of hearing damage. Cosmic harmonious frequencies related to the 432 Hz frequency and its importance in the creation of physical reality from light and sound. Is it possible that over the course of thousands of years, we have somehow been guided in the process of creating this new form of communication? And if so, what type of information will we learn from it that could not be expressed in any other way? The underlying primary psychic reality is so inconceivably complex that it can be grasped only at the farthest reach of intuition, and then but very dimly. That is why it needs symbols. This is the biggest mystery. This universal truth was not available to the people of this planetary system. It is now finally being received on this planet by deep seekers of the truth and ready to receive it. Throughout history, numerous clues and hints regarding geometry and frequency have been staring at us, calling to us, and waiting for us to put them into place like pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle. Here at the dawn of a new age, this sonic geometric puzzle is finally nearing completion, revealing the building blocks of a language based on the energy, frequency and form. Now, how do we tell the rest of the world that we need to reset the international concert pitch back to A432 Hz? Many people might say that this is nothing and barely noticeable, but why would they go through so much trouble to have this frequency change worldwide when some of the greatest classical music was created using 432 Hz? If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration.
Visit MaggieCelesticsNY.com for great health supplements.